Adverse Childhood Experiences, or ACEs, is a term used to describe very stressful events or circumstances that children may experience during their childhood and which can have a serious impact on their future mental and physical health. These events include neglect, abuse and household dysfunction, but many may not realise they also include natural disasters such as the Black Summer bushfires and the COVID-19 pandemic. We take concrete steps to protect our homes and families from the imminent risks that come with natural disasters. But even if our homes are spared and we keep our family safe, a child who lives through a major disaster can experience lingering effects to their mental and emotional well-being that may be difficult for us to see at first. Even if children aren't directly impacted by the disaster, the impact it may have had on their parents, teachers and other adults who provide care and protection can sometimes leave their support systems eroded, making them equally vulnerable to the effects long after the disaster. A 1996 US study showed that as many as 50% of children report post-traumatic stress symptoms after experiencing a disaster, such as recurring thoughts about the disaster, hypervigilance, or difficulty sleeping or concentrating. Children exposed to natural disasters also often experience depression symptoms such as feeling sad or losing interest in activities, and symptoms of anxiety such as fears and worries about safety. Chronic mental health symptoms have been observed among children even four years after a disaster event. Left unaddressed, the impact of their experiences can alter brain anatomy and functioning, inhibiting learning and memory processes. For example, children exposed to disasters report trouble concentrating a common symptom of post-traumatic stress, and which can interfere with learning at school. Without therapeutic intervention, by year nine, these students may be up to five years behind unaffected peers. Effective early intervention support for children can help to reduce long-term effects, and when coupled with education and support for those that surround the child, it can create a wraparound network of care, delivering the strong connections and support a child needs. Once a carer or educator is able to see that a child's behaviour may actually be a physiological or emotional response to a disaster event rather than the child just being naughty. It will change the way they respond to the child. Multiple evidence-based programs have shown this approach can decrease mental health symptoms among children exposed to traumatic events. However, not all families are able to access these critical programs due to cost or geographic barriers. Currently, three quarters of Australian children with mental health disorders aren't getting professional help. Placing mental health services within schools increases accessibility and supports families, schools and communities to identify when a child really needs extra support. The Kids Express School Partnership Program was developed in recognition of this and delivers support services to vulnerable children in the safe and accessible environment of their school. For more information about Kids Express programs, visit kidsexpress.org.au or follow us on social media.